Hello, my name is James. I'm one of the physiotherapists at the Royal Free London NHS Foundation Trust. This is a video that outlines the exercise element of your recovery after a total knee replacement. These exercises should only be performed once assessed and prescribed by your physiotherapist. You may wish to pause the video to complete each exercise in full or watch through to the end to remind yourselves of the technique of each exercise. A knee replacement is a large operation. It is very painful and will not get better unless you work on it. You should continue to take painkillers regularly, as instructed by your doctor. This will allow you to walk and exercise more easily. Swelling in your knee can last up to six months, and it is ice and elevation that can help control it, especially in the first month or two. You should also make sure that you gradually increase the amount of exercise and walking that you do. You should not sit for more than 45 minutes in one go because your knee will become stiffer and more painful. However, it is important to note that if you do too much too soon, you may experience increased pain and swelling. That being said, if you don't do enough, you will not get better and you will continue to experience more swelling, more stiffness and more pain and you may end up needing another surgery. You need to find the middle ground. Once you are two to three weeks post-surgery, you should be able to bend your knee to approximately 90 degrees and straighten it fully. If you can't, you need to stretch more. To help with your knee getting straight, make sure you don't sleep with a pillow under your knee. Please note, if you experience any fever, a significant increase in swelling throughout your calf or whole leg, an increase in redness or heat in or around your knee, or any discharge from the wound, it is important to speak to your physiotherapist or get your knee reviewed by a doctor urgently. This video is split into two sections. Section 1 contains stretches and Section 2 contains the early strengthening exercises. Section 1. Stretches. You should aim to complete these stretches every hour. Knee flexion. Sitting on a chair, bend your knee back as far as you can. Use your good leg to hook around and pull your leg further back to help increase the stretch. Hold for 20 to 30 seconds and repeat five times. Alternatively, sit on a bed or the floor, but only if you know you can get back up, and give your knee a hug as shown. Hold for 20 to 30 seconds, repeat five times. Alternatively, you can stretch your knee into flexion using a step. Place your operated leg on the first or second step and lunge forwards, increasing the stretch at your knee. Knee extension. Sitting on a chair with another opposite you, Place your heel on the opposite chair and push through your thigh to increase the straightness of your leg. Hold for 20 to 30 seconds and repeat five times. Alternatively, sit on a bed or the floor, but only if you know that you can get back up again. Push the back of your knee down into the ground. Hold for 20 to 30 seconds and repeat five times. Section two, early strengthening. You should start this stage as soon as possible. The physiotherapists on the ward will likely have shown you some of these already. Quads activation. Sitting on a bed, push the back of your knee down into the bed, contracting your thigh muscle. Hold for five seconds and repeat ten times. You should be able to see your quadriceps muscle tensing. Straight leg raises. Activate your quads. Hold them tight. Now raise your legs straight up in the air, 
slowly lower back down again. Repeat eight times, rest, and repeat for another two full sets of eight. Glute activation. Sitting on a bed, squeeze your bottom muscles. Hold for five seconds and repeat ten times. You should be able to feel your body move, but you should make sure that you only use your glutes and you don't tense your whole body. Side lying abduction. Make sure you are fully lying on your side. Bad leg up, good leg bent to give stability. Straighten your top leg and raise it up away from your body. Slowly lower back down again. Repeat eight times, rest and repeat for another two full sets of eight. Sitting knee extension. Sitting in a chair, straighten your operated knee as far as you can. Hold for three seconds, repeat 10 to 15 times. Standing weight transfer, developing into balance. There are four levels to this exercise. Progress as you feel able. You should spend about two to three minutes on each of these exercises. Level one, standing on both legs, transfer weight from one leg to the other by leaning left and right. Level two, marching on the spot. Level three, standing on your operated leg only, holding on to something for support. Level four, standing on one leg and practice your balance, keeping something stable close to hand for safety. Standing knee flexion, Standing, holding onto a supportive surface, bend your operated knee as far as you can. Keep your knees in line together. Repeat eight times, rest, and repeat for another two full sets of eight. Standing hip abduction. Standing, holding onto a supportive surface, squeezing your gluteal muscles, Bring your operated leg out to the side, slowly come back in. Repeat eight times, rest and repeat for another two full sets of eight. Repeat on your other leg. Heel raises. Standing, holding onto a supportive surface, lift both heels off the ground as high as you can. Repeat eight times, rest and repeat for another two full sets of eight. Sit to stand. Start sitting in a chair, only using your hands if you need to, stand up. Slowly sit back down again. Make sure that you don't flop back down onto the chair and control the movement. Repeat eight times, rest and repeat for another two full sets of eight. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or concerns, please do discuss them with your physiotherapist.